My name is David Margerison. My name is Martin. My name is Kenny Delahuse. My name is Carlos Sanchez. I got involved with Team Challenge because of I used to be addicted to methamphetamines. I just lived a lifestyle of drugs, alcohol, a lifestyle on the streets, ended up homeless. I'm an ex gang member of the Southern um, California gangs. Make a long story short, um, I wound up getting arrested by the police and thrown into the hospital where I went through detox. I was out there in the streets. Um, I am from Zed, we grew up here, pastor's kid. Yeah, so I was a menace of society. And when I became 11, 12 years old, I started hanging around with the wrong crowd. By the age of 15, I was always doing methamphetamines and other drugs and hallucinogens. I went to a church when I was younger, and it gave me a real bad taste in my mouth about church when I was young. This generation has been tossed to the wolves. This generation has, uh, has uh, been neglected and, and uh, don't want nothing to do with it. My aunt and uncle were sitting in the courtroom and I haven't talked to them in just over a year. And uh, they were there and I thought they were there to make sure I was getting in trouble. And, uh, they told me about Teen Challenge, pretty much told me if I go to this program she'll give me another chance. So I figured I got nothing to lose. So I came in the program and that's when God got a hold of me. There is about eight guys in the house right now. Daily life is they get up at 6 in the morning, uh, uh, Bible studies at 6.30 to 7.30 in the morning. We have breakfast right after that at 8. Um, at 9 to, from 9 to 12 we have schooling where we have a teacher come in one of the hours and so for three hours they do Bible school or Bible teachings for three hours. Uh, at 12 o'clock is lunch. And in the afternoon we usually go out work and come back about five, clean up, eat dinner and then go to church service. So it's a pretty much a set schedule. So we're pretty much busy doing things constantly. We do a lot of landscaping, uh, construction work. We build a lot of sheds for guy. Uh, tile work, uh, basically anything that anybody needs help with out in the community we do. Anything, we do pretty much anything, we'll clean your yard, uh, pretty much, we're a handyman, yeah. God's disciples, we send out and we do it. And we teach these guys how to work with their hands again, how, how, to, how to work and be a productive citizen in our community. And what a metaphor for Teen Challenge is that as, as they're re restorating a, a home or a building or a bathroom, that their lives too are being restored by God's hands. Today I'm working alongside with uh, Pastor uh, Campos to uh, outreach to the community out here in uh, Pasco, Washington. When we go and speak at different churches, tell them what Teen Challenge is about, what we do, and, and just reach out to the community and let them know that we're here. Besides work, we, we do do uh, outreaches and we go to the assemblies and, and, and we show video. We give the, the, the students give their testimonies how once they were lost, but now they're found. We also help um, kids to try to understand in the juvenile halls that doing time and doing prison time, juvenile hall time is not the way to go, you know. So basically we do a bunch of outreaches with not only uh, at-risk youth, but with their families as well. Uh, we have a March Against the Madness, what we just did not a couple of months ago, which uh, we, we go and fill the gap between the gangs and drug addicts. Uh, we have resources, we get free food, free concert, and we just let them know that we're filling the gap and we need help, come here. And start telling about Teen Challenge and, I mean, offer them a meal, a nice shower, get them cleaned up, you know, give them a chance to, to get off the streets. It's about the great change. I believe that uh, it, 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 it can do a lot of good. Um, there's a lot of guys out there who come straight from prison who don't have any kind of discipline in their life. Um, you know, the, it can be a little hard. That it's a good change and God could help you out. And the people who who's in Teen Challenge, they're, they're great helpers. Sometimes going fetching those that need God is the hardest task to do. Uh, go to the highways, dark alleys, and go to the, the roughest part of town. Uh, but that's what we've been called to do, be a light in the darkness, to collect the treasures out of darkness. And I like the Pastor T, he's like cool, and he always there, and I like his heart. And I could see how I'm changing just because he showed me how to change. I would say that we're a faith-based discipleship program slash rehab, but we're like no other rehab out there. Our success rate is much higher than anybody's out there and that basically we're just a bunch of guys, a group of guys that come together and we're like a big family. And another thing is that we don't ask anybody to pay any money. But you can't really put a price on someone's salvation or well-being, you know, and so we don't turn nobody down and, you know, and guarantee that they're gonna get loved on and 
they're going to enjoy and have a good time. You know, uh, Teen Challenge is a place that if you really want, you know, to change your life, learn about God, and uh, just get fed like that, then, then Teen Challenge is the best way to go. And, and, and that's what we do. We go find the roughest people, uh, the, the, the driest and the hardest looking coals out there. And God presses them here in Teen Challenge. And when they leave Teen Challenge, they're a jewel, they're a diamond. And, 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 and each one of them are precious in God's sight. Um, today I can say I'm free from the bondage of drug addiction and alcoholism and gang banging. Now without God, I know I couldn't do, be where I'm at without God. I know that you know, I, I love God and I know God loves me and He's forgiven me for all my for everything I've done in my life. You know, and I just know that without Him working through this program and team, without Him working through Team Challenge, there's no way that I'd even be here today. It's a great center. It's a great place to know about God, have a relationship with Him. Because I know what it's like to be without Him. You know, I know what it's like to, to lose, you know, that friend that you had for so long. Um, and now that I got Him back, I don't want Him to. Yeah. My whole attitude has, has completely changed. That God's called me to go back home and help my youth pastor and help the youth or some interaction with the youth. The biggest thing we really need is funds to keep this ministry going. Because it's sad to say, without money though, money takes, it, it makes what places run like this. You know, we have mortgages, we have light bills, water bills, you know, just the basic necessities. And so basically just funds, you know, people to even pick up a sponsorship for one of these guys. Uh, we have sponsorship forms and uh, maybe they, God will put it on their heart to sponsor them financially through the program. Because a lot of people come from broken homes and that their families just can't afford it. That's why we don't kick anybody out or, or, or not accept anybody for funds. And so that's our biggest need is for you know, people to just back up a student. Man, Teen Challenge, this is the beginning phase of Teen Challenge here in the Tri-Cities. We know, and in this region, we know that Teen Challenge is needed here in the Tri-Cities, in the Yakima Valley, in Moses Lake, in Pendleton and Hermiston. Uh, Teen Challenge is desperately needed to be a beacon, a lighthouse in our community. Uh, we foresee a opening up a, a women's home to, to embrace the women that, that are going and struggling with gangs and drugs. Uh, we, we see an outreach for gang members that they can come and get education, not feel intimidated, a tutoring center, a, a, an outreach center for, for those youth that, that really uh, want to change but they don't, they're too afraid to go back to school. Uh, they're afraid to get laughed at, they're afraid of not being accepted, afraid of being stereotyped, uh, uh, but they can come to a place. Uh, that they're not stereotyped, they're not judged, but they're loved. And, and that's our heart and our passion is to reach out for those that, that need to be reached out. And uh, I foresee Teen Challenge will be a strong pillar in the community and, and, and being a tool for individuals to change their lives and go back to society productively, positively, and just embrace a life as it is, what God has intended it to be, and, and just be a, a big uh, wow factor here in the Tri-City area. Teen Challenge is a place where you can find hope through Jesus Christ. Uh, there's a pastor that has a model, and we really take that to heart here in the Tri-Cities. Uh, Teen Challenge is uh, find the need and feel it, find the hurt and heal it. And that's our model, it, it, it is really doing some things like that for our community. To Jeremiah 1.5, it says that specifically I have chosen you out of your mother's womb before you were born. I have set you apart and appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And right then and there, I started realizing, I was like, Lord, is, if this is real, show me. And he has shown me throughout my whole life ever since then. This is the Teen Island Rocks.